Coronavirus has impacted students all across the First Coast. Di districts across the state were asked to extend or to add on to the respective districts spring breaks. So here is a look at some of the bigger districts across the region. As of right now, students in Duval County are expected to go back to school March 23rd. Students in St. John's and Flagler counties are due back March 30th. Clay County goes back March the 31st. And schools are asking that if you and your family travel during spring break to self quarantine at home for 14 days. So now the question is, what do you do with the kids being at home? The first concern, of course, for many is serious, and that is it making sure that all the kids have meals, something to eat. Those families rely on free or reduced lunches. When school isn't in session, there's no meal. So here's a look at what some of the districts across our first coast are doing. Starting with Duval County Public Schools, students can get meals at all of the district campuses from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. St. John's County School District, it's providing food services at some campuses starting on the 23rd. And in Clay County, school officials started providing meals today, and that includes breakfast and also lunch. So this list involves the public school system and not charter schools. For more information about the meal programs now, you can head to your respective district's websites. Well, as a working mom who homeschools, I know what it's like to have my kids at home all the time and what it's like to be responsible for teaching them. It can be a little overwhelming at times, but fortunately I have the help of their Florida virtual school teachers online and the curriculum, it's all laid out for me. So my kids who are in third and fourth grade are enrolled in FLVS's Flex program. It has year round enrollment. It's free and it's accredited. So that's always an option for you and they can stay on track even this far into the school year. But whether you decide to switch to online learning or you just want to make the best of the days that they'll be at home, one thing that's really helped me is to have a routine and to stick to it. So schedule out your day, plan to take breaks just like kids do at school, and you will be well on your way to helping them stay entertained and occupied while they have an extended break. Exercise is definitely an important part of my kids' day, and you really can make it fun. We'll go outside and play basketball, a game of course, or a game of tag or hide and seek. Art projects are another great way to help keep your kids occupied indoors. I'm amazed at what my daughter has learned to draw by watching Art for Kids Hub on YouTube. And this weekend, we had a lot of fun making homemade Play-Doh. It's super easy, and it lets them be creative. Now, one of my kids' favorite games is one we made up. We have a world map on the wall, and I'll call out a country or a city, and whoever can point to it first gets a point. Now, you know that kids are going to want screen time, but instead of letting them watch mindless videos, encourage them to use educational apps like ABC Ya or expand their knowledge by reading books on the website uniteforliteracy.com. And when it comes to lunch and dinner, let your kids help you plan and prepare the meal. My kids have learned a lot, all while having fun. So I would love to hear your advice for what you do to help entertain your kids during their extended break. You can join the conversation. Just join the First Coast Moms Facebook group to weigh in. You're going to have geography pros there. <laughs> Very good, Heather.